Hi, I'm Alicia, and I'm going to teach you how to publish your game for sale on the Game Crafter. To start, let's head over to the game you want to sell. Click Make at the top of the site, and then Games. Now click the name of the game you want to sell. First up, make sure there's no orange exclamation points next to any of the images in your game. That'll make sure your game is fully proofed. Now click the Sell tab up here. To publish your game for sale in the shop, you must have purchased a copy of your game. If you've purchased a copy of your game less than 10 days ago, you can still publish it for sale in the shop, but you will either have to wait 10 days or you can pay 10k crafter points to skip this waiting period. The waiting period is to make sure that you've reviewed your game for any issues before you sell it to other people. When you're ready to publish your game and you've done all the required steps we're going to go through, you can simply hit the publish button here. Now let's look at the vitals. Vitals are where you're going to enter the edition of your game. If this is your first time making this game, you can leave it at first. You can also enter how many players your game can play. For example, if your game plays two to six players, you can enter two to six, or maybe it's one to 10, you just enter that here. You're gonna enter how long your game plays and the ages. You'll notice we only offer 12 plus and 18 plus. This is because you cannot make games for ages under 12. Now let's move down to pricing. If you want to have a specific markup for your game, you can leave automatic pricing on and enter the specific markup here. If you want a specific sale price for your game or an MSRP, you can turn off automatic pricing and enter that MSRP here. For example, I'm going to enter $54.99. Your MSRP or your sales price needs to always be higher than the manufacturing cost here. Where you see TCG here and designer, is the profit split. So TGC is how much profit the Game Crafter makes, and Designer is how much profit you're making per sale of your game. Let's go ahead and move down to Marketing. You'll see that this is a required section. Here's where you're going to enter a short description for your game, three cool things about your game. This can be like the hook for your game, a little pitch about your game, or just something cool about your game. You can also enter a website for your game or company. Make sure to include the HTTP for your game, uh, for your game's URL. You're also going to enter an ad for your game. The advertisement needs to be exactly 216 by 150 pixels. I made an example advertisement here. You simply drag and drop the advertisement into this upload box. And this is what it will look like in the online shop. Let's go ahead and move down to analytics. This is specifically for the GOAT counter code. If you don't have one of these, you can go ahead and skip this step. Let's move down to safe search. Use your best judgment when filling these out. These are just gonna help for anybody who's using safe search options on their account. If they don't wanna see games with these kinds of things, you can enter these for your game just to help filter them for other people. Let's move down to professional review. If you have a professional board game review for your game, you can enter those informations here. Let's move down to shop page. This is also a required page. There we go. You can enter a shop backdrop and a game logo. Again, these also have specific sizes, 1600 by 600 pixels, pixels for your shop backdrop and 350 by 150 pixels for your game logo. I've made some examples for these as well. You again are gonna simply drag and drop them in. I do have some recommendations when designing these. For your shop backdrop, these will be cropped when viewing them on different devices, like a mobile device, on a tablet, or if your window is being made small. Uh, let's say you made your window small when viewing it. So it's important to keep in mind that you may not wanna have text on your shop backdrop and your logo should have a transparent background so it's viewed nicely against your backdrop. Something like this. For your shop description, 
We have a great text editor here. So you can change the size of your text, make it bold, italic, add quotes. You can also auto embed a video URL from YouTube. It'll automatically embed by just posting in the URL. You can also automatically upload images in here by using this drop down box down here. For example, I can take this image, drop it in here. And it'll automatically embed here on the shop page. Make sure to save it. You can view your shop page at any time by clicking the name of your game here. You can see your banner, your logo, and your shop page here. Let's go ahead and move down to shop preferences. These preferences are great if you don't want to publish your game to the online shop, but you still want to sell your game to other people. You can allow sales of your game even when it's unpublished. You can set that to yes or no. You can allow your game to be viewed even when it's unpublished. You can set that to yes or no. This one's a little specific. If your game requires a box when it's published, you can set that to yes or no. If your game doesn't have a box, but you still want to sell it anyways, make sure to set that to no. Let's go ahead and move down to taxonomy. This is going to help people find your game in the shop. So if your game is a game, if it's an upgrade, playing cards, self-improvement, or tarot and oracle. And then you can also help set that category even more specific. So let's go ahead and set ours to game. We'll set it to board game. And you can even add additional tags for your game to make it even easier for people to find it. Let's go ahead and move down to another required area of action shots. You can see that these also have a required size of 800 by 600 pixels. I have a couple of these as well. We're going to select all three of these and upload all of them. You can set the sequence you want these to arrive in. We're going to set this one to three. So this is going to be first, second, and third. And these will appear towards the bottom of your shop page. In a little slideshow. And these are great for showing live action shots or renders of your game. Now let's go ahead and move down to related games. Now this is great if you have expansions for your game or maybe different types of boxes or rules, things like that. You'll be able to add and remove different types of games. You'll simply click the plus button on any related games and they'll show up here in the related games and on your shop page, they'll show up over here as related games. Now let's move down to this last option of BOF this game. BOF is short for Bulk Order Fulfillment, and this will allow you to download a spreadsheet if you plan to make a bulk order of this game for something like a Kickstarter or pre-order. Once you're done filling everything out, but then once your game is ready for sale, you can go ahead and hit that Publish button, and your game would be live in the store within just a couple minutes. And that's it. That's how you publish a game on the Game Crafter. Thanks for watching.